That's the uh, second one, that one's in the net, and it's, they're around about the same size, they're only small, small commons, but well, welcome him because uh, the bait and the rigs we've been trying for two days in the combo, didn't catch anything, so we was wondering, but obviously it is the right method, it's just got to get on top of the fish. Look at that, let's just hope we can get a buff and a bigger common to show you. Look at that. Second Lake Fault, Texas common. But uh, let's get the rods out and see if we can get one of the elusive buffs out for. Where we go, we've only, we've still got two rods out of the water after the two we just see. And this is the third take within the hour. It's another carp or a buff, I think it's a common, the way it's going. It's banging a little bit, probably the same size. But the rigs in the area working. There are any single uh, stick mix, mainline stick mix. That's the third one um, in that hour, that little succession. I mean, we had fish in the net, fish on, uh, rods on the floor, rods, and this rod's gone off. And uh, well, I'm glad I'm getting bites. Let's just hope some bigger ones that sneak through. But I'll be happy catching a few of these today, just to just to prove that we was doing everything right. We just got to be in the right spot, like a lot of carp fishing. There you go. Well, this is what we're helicopter rig, basically. Um, free, the, the old 360 Dave Lane rig, as you can see. It's a single little pop-up, screwed on, and a big ring, so it's got the 360 move. I don't know if it's been used over here, Falk, but uh, I just started using it on St. Lawrence, and it's obviously killing, killing some big old commons, so we want to get on them. And uh, but this is what we do on the stick mix, so it's the stick mix there the main line mix up stick mix and what we do we just slide it onto a loop this is my design I don't know if it's been pushed out there but so it's like that and then we just hook that in the bottom of the bag so when you cast it goes out like that and then you, you've got a little bit of slack and that's what we get in the bites on just had another cat unfortunately but two cats two carp so it's three, looking it's looking good three carp Oh, three carp, sorry, yeah, three carp, two cats. So uh, the carp's winning at the moment, and that's how we want to keep it, unless the buff knocks it out. First bump from the uh, Lake Fort for us, and it's 50 pound. 
and we've got a 45 pound on the floor. Look at this, 50 pound bus after a touch, 28, 30 pound column, you know, time to weigh it. We have three fish at once, all on the main line, stick mix from Kevin Knight for main line. Top dog. Where we go, this is the uh, trio. We had one about 28, 29 pound common. I had a 50 pound exactly buff, and Lisa whacked out a 40, actually, actually 40 pound three ounces one, just scraping over the 40 mark, but look at that. Two buffs at the same time, two different buffs. Well, here's the main line stick mix, you can see the little uh, sticks at the bottom there. They're about three inches long, packed out with mainline pineapple, boilies crushed up with uh, mainline stick mix and you can see in the background there's the famous fork swim and he's, oh and we've got a run that's got a sign off uh, two days after uh, we had the 29 common from the snags um, it's probably a bit windy I don't know if you can hear me um, as you can see it's horrendous it's so hard to fish uh, the takes are just pulling the rods in there's no uh, bleeping or drop backs we don't see nothing all we see is absolute screamers and the rods just shooting in um, we've lost two carp that we definitely know that well carp or buff we know we had them on got them halfway and they fell off just due to the um, just due to the wind keep the line tight uh, we're doing our best but a 50 and a 40 and a 29 common we can't mount at that um, we've been all over Austin, Emma, uh, Falk, Decker, we fished them all and now we're sitting on the fish that we're after. It's took a couple of weeks but once we got on them then we got amongst them with our bait and the main line stick mix and um, we're spawning out thanks to Spom. Spom's put it, um, sponsored all our uh, Spoms and we've been bombing all the uh, stick mix and uh, and crushed up mainline boilies and uh, we're using tackle box and tackle uh, thanks to them boys uh, thanks to all the sponsors to get us the fish that we're just showing you on this video we'll uh, see you later on here we go these are the takes at Falk woohoo there she goes there she blows There we go, it's so just, just the tape you just see. We're still in the fire. It's about 80 yards out on the mainline stick, stick mix on a uh, 10, 10 mil mainline. Dear boys said the boilies don't seem to do that well, but we've got every fish on the boilies, so I think if you get on them, they'll eat anything once you get on them. Once you get the distance and the, and the location right. You can see it's on the bait, on the main line. Um, this is uh, full, just over 40 pound common out of Lake Falk. Um, swim 27, and we've got a, a, a 42, 43 pound buff there in the net, as you can see. We'll just show you the scales, look, there's a common. We'll just show you the scales. What's it showing, Lise? Showing uh, just just slightly over 40. So it's like 40 pound, four ounce. Yeah, is it about yeah. 40 pound, four? Yeah. 40 pound, four. Really you can see, you can see that it's not. There's the common, there's the scales. It's all zeroed in. It's getting heavy. Yeah. That's 40 pound, four ounce out of Lake Falk. And I think, I'm not sure, I think that might be the first 40 pounder out of Lake Falk, I'm not sure. I know 35, 12 I think was the biggest Lake Falk record, but look at, there we go. We had a 50, a 40 pound four. We've got probably a 33, 35 pound buff. We've got a 40 pound four ounce common. And we've still got another day and a half. Oh, one's 50 pound buff. It's the second 50, we had two 50s, 40. We've had a 29 common. And now a 40 pound four common. Look at that, all out of Lake Falk. Get on the main line. And well done to Spawn and Tackle Box for the end tackle. And Spawn for the best, best bombing tactics you can get when you come for baiting up. 
these big blocks just can't. We just had that 40 pound four common and Lisa whacked out the 50 pound two buffalo. It's the second 50 buffalo today. Look at that. We had a 40, two 50s, a 43 common and a 29 common and we've lost two carp. Look at this, it's going crazy for us. And we took two weeks of hard fishing to find a spot to get on them. And now we're on them, the main line, and obviously all the sponsors and the spawn and tackle box have all come together and look at us. Now we're hauling. Look at that. It's the fourth buff in probably about five hours of fishing. All on the same spot. Uh, this is, uh, this is pink. Pegger 26, pig 26. Look at that. No small 20-pound button, we just had a 20-pound common at the same time. Just threw it back and uh, let's get the rod back out. Let's see if we can break that 50 odd pound barrier now. Done it twice, we just want to get it up, try and get a right big one in. I mean we're well happy with what we got, but it's got the down up there. So full common, four, we have four commons, four buffs. Look at that. 28 pound common, we had a 29, 40 pound four, and we've had a 20 pound dead on. Woohoo! That's out the uh, snags, right in the snags, this one. The commons coming from the snags, and the buffalo coming out from over a lot of fog. Caught cool on mainline, stick mix. Look at that. On a pineapple mainline boilie. Took about 20 minutes. To 20 get minutes to get yeah. it in. I want to get it to the bomb shot. 310. This one's 51 pound. That's the third 50, and we've had a 63.10, which is the second state record for Texas. Whew, look at that. Get on the main First line. take of the morning, after the hectic 64 pound yesterday in all the 50s. First take was 46 pound, this one. Open water, uh, this was probably about 65 yards out. Look at that, first take of the morning. We've got a few hours to go yet. Doing a bit of spawning, put a uh, best bait dropper out there. And we're putting pellets in it, this is what we're getting the buffs on. About 70 yard chuck. We're in the 20, about 23 foot of water at Lake Fog. It's the second one, but it took about four hours of nothing. We're changing the baits around a little bit, changing the distances, fish showing out there. They're playing a bit hard to get, but this one's uh, 47 pound, and the one this morning was 46 pound. Look at that, all the buffs in here are 40 to 50 pound plus. Fork is just amazing. Look at that. What a chunk. There we go, 23 pound dead on, common. Oh, it's a nice, nice fish. We've had a 47 buff and a, 30, and a 46 buff, and now it's common. And they just started crashing over the baits. Look at that, let's see if we can get some more. Here's Lisa's 21 pound buff. First take in the morning, been here about half hour, just baited up. First take from the snag side of the swim. This is our third day in this swim, and fourth day after the tournament at Falk. And uh, we've had buffaloes every day. So we just started, we've got another 10 hours fishing yet. Look at that, 21 pound buff for Lisa, first thing in the morning. Where well, we go. This is our uh, last day. As you see, Lisa had a 21 pound buff first chuck this morning from the snags. Um, that's the first take from the snags from a, from a buff, but actually, they're all been common. So the buffs are all been out at about 70 to 80 yards, um, straight out in open water, really, just, just off the drop off, probably in about 18 to 22 feet drop off. Um, we just spotted out loads of bait now for the day. And uh, so, as, as we say, this is the last day. We've had this our fourth day of fishing outside the tournament, and we've caught buffs and commons every day. So, if you can get on the spots and obviously bait up, 
and uh, which is a crucial thing. Keep putting bait in. They seem to keep coming back. Time just to explain a little bit. Um, this is uh, this is at the north end of Lake Fog in Texas, and. Yeah, as you can see, you probably can see at distance all the stumps and the snags and the trees. Well, Lake Fork's full of it, and it's purposely built for the bass fishing, um, for coverage and spawning beds, and it's got the record Texas bass in here, and they're whacking them out of 12 to 15 pound, nearly on a weekly basis. It's full of full of big bass, full of big buffalo, and full of commons. As you can see, it's 20, it's 27,000 acre lake. Uh, and it's purposely built and there's 338 miles of shoreline. I mean that's just horrendous alone. That's just one of the bridges. There's four or five bridges that size going across Lake Falk.